Hello, I will talk about Hilbert spaces and optimal control of a marine system. The inspiration for this project was on my uh, thesis. I defended my PhD uh, degree in 2006 at University College London and was about modeling a real-time simulation of an advanced full electric propulsion system uh, in a ship. At the time, the ship was being built by the British Navy and now is fully operational. Okay, one of the important parts of the proportion system is the control system to guarantee that the ship will be operational during very extreme conditions, like losing one phase of the induction motor, crash stop maneuver, some kind of very extreme condition uh, operation condition. The project, the current project, will examine options of control methods that might be used to improve the response of the ship to dynamic conditions. In, in this case, I will um, I selected one of the motions of the hull, and we will see this a bit later. Why? What is optimal control theory? Uh, well, uh, it's interesting to mention that the fundamental problem in classical functional analysis include the following. The existence and uniqueness of a solution for operator equations in Hilbert spaces, the minimization of the norm in a Hilbert space, and the maximization or minimization of a functional in a, on a Hilbert space. That is what uh, we will apply on optimal control uh, theory and um, the uh, I, it's interesting to mention I've uh, learned a lot during this uh, semester but uh, it's quite uh, uh, the the more I learn I the more I see the things that I still have to learn uh, but uh, this is just uh, uh, something I would like to mention because at the time when Hilbert ca came up with this, uh, uh, the concepts and the Hilbert spaces and the functional analysis uh, uh, development, in the, 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 he was kind of criticized and uh, I learned that uh, some mathematician even said this is not mathematics, this is theology. But later, of course, he wor his work was uh, um, uh, ass assumed as a very uh, uh, innovative um, framework and uh, is now uh, we can see have so many uh, uh, interesting applications. The background of this uh, work, uh, since we're talking about motion, we will uh, work with um, mechanics, starting with classical mechanics like Newton mechanics evolving to Lagrangian uh, mechanics and then Hamiltonian me mechanics. We know that Newton uh, is the Newtonian mechanic is based on forces, analyzing the forces that are acting on a particle, as you can see here on this comp computation. But then uh, Lagrange uh, developed a new um, way of approaching is uh, by uh, working with the energy and he developed an, a, a new framework uh, that uh, is around the Lagrangian. The Lagrangian is basically the difference between kinetic energy and uh, potential energy. This doesn't have a physical meaning, but the most uh, 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 meaning is, uh, is mathematical. And uh, with this uh, formulation, we are able to find out the equations of motion for um, a, 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 a different coordinate system, or in this case, a, a three-dimensional dim coordinate system. Another evolution is the Hamiltonian mechanics, and Ham Hamiltonian now is also uh, regarding the energy of the system 
to now the Hamiltonian is equals to the kinetic energy plus the potential energy. Now, using Hamiltonian formulation, we will um, find out this equation, that's dH over dt, that is going to be one of the starting points of solving the control uh, problem. The, the solution of a control problem involves, first of all, the dynamical system and application of ordinary differential equations with time as an independent variable. We're going to have um, dx uh, over dt equals f as a function of time, the position, and ut. ut is going to be the control function. And the objective is to minimize costs. And cost is not only money, but everything that we don't, we want or we don't want. So we're going to minimize everything that we don't want. This is the, the index of performance that we can calculate using these uh, two terms. Uh, function L and M are quadratic functions. We will see later how to how to compute those functions. And we're going to uh, work also with vectors U and V that have linear differential equations. One important um, principle that's used to solve the control function is the Pontryagin maximum principle. Is uh, something developed by uh, a Russian mathematician pretty recently in the 1950s. And uh, what is interesting about it, it uh, will uh, list or state the necessary conditions to obtain an optimal trajectory of a dynamical system. Uh, we assume an interval of time. And we're going to have uh, a constant, uh, uh, actually a matrix that uh, have the constant and continuous functions um, uh, components. The matrix A is going to be N by N. We also will work with the vectors, I mentioned X and V, N dimensional vectors. And we will consider this uh, linear system of first order ordinary differential equations to find solutions, to find solutions to our problem. It will have unique solutions and uh, the set of n linearly independent solutions of dx over dt equals a uh, t of x times x is called the fundamental set of solutions that we will also use and represent in the matrix phi. And that is the matrix of uh, fundamental solutions or the fundamental matrix. Um, I'm skipping a bit because uh, we don't have a lot of time. We can formulate uh, the linear quadratic optimal problem that is this is the equation that we will work with this is the the equation that you have to find the solution using uh, ordinary differential equation theory we can um, define x using this formulation and phi is this phi t comma uh, tau is a state transition matrix for the dynamical system. We have uh, the vector space L to M and the interval on the interval 0 to T. And uh, we, we, we know that this inner product will be defined like this. We can come to the conclusion that L to M is going to be complete and therefore is a Hilbert space, right? And now we can find the linear operator L. 
the elements of phi are continuous functions on the interval 0 comma t by 0 comma t therefore l is going to be a compact operator the control problem now is to find the control function that minimizes the functional y, y u represented by this uh, formulation and we can also uh, uh, write down the the the, the, the cost functional using inner products and we're going to have this formulation right here there are several examples of solutions and contro uh, controllers using optimal control theory uh, and linear quadratic regulator is one of the most uh, important and uh, uh, one of the first ones that we usually uh, study. It's considered one of the, uh, of the most important and uh, is a powerful design method in many respects. It's, uh, it's considered by the, 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 the reference that I found as the kind of uh, mother of many of the current uh, other systematic control design procedures. Uh, let's have a look at, at the schematic of the linear quadratic regulator controller. It looks like this. This is the equation we have to solve. And this is the control, the function that we will um, represent as the matrix Q, K, sorry, the matrix K, multiplied by, the, by X, the vector X. When we uh, work out uh, to design the linear quadratic regulator, it's useful to, uh, to represent the cost function as a function of time. So uh, we are representing here, we had the cost function as a, a function of the control. Uh, u and now we have this formulation of the cost function as a function of time the matrix q and r are weight uh, matrices that we can work we can change the parameters depending on what we think is uh, more important if we want to minimize the 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 time of uh, stabilization or if we want to minimize the amplitude uh, or if we want to have uh, in the case of q in the case of r if you want to have more actuation more uh, uh, control forces or less control forces less actuation the the control law we, we saw before u equals negative k r x is going to set to minimize j and therefore we're going to have a linear function u that is set to minimize a quadratic function that's the cost and that, that, then we have the name linear quadratic regulator and um, the main the, the hard work uh, is going to be to solve the Riccati equation and then we will find k of r and the Riccati equation is represented right here let's talk a little bit more about the Riccati equation well, uh, the, the Computation of Riccati equation it starts with the, the the cost function j that we should minimize uh, knowing that x dot equals a x plus b u right. We can uh, generate an augmented function j augmented, and 
where the lambda on this function is going to be the Lagrange multiplier. Assuming the variation of the, the cost function augmented, then we have this, and notice that uh, all those um, factors are derivatives of the Lagrangian. You mentioned the Lagrangian before, right? That's uh, the kinetic energy minus potential energy. Well, we will calculate the total variation is that expression, that equation, I mean, sorry, uh, to achieve optimization, uh, each variation uh, should be ze zero, right? We, we have each term that is not uh, on, on depending on time is equal to zero. Since it's a linear dynamic problem, we can make lambda equals px, and, and in that way we will be able to develop a computation that will uh, come uh, and um, produce the Riccati equation that we should solve to find k. All right, and now uh, the Hamiltonian formulation. It's also possible to solve the optimization using uh, the we've used before the Riccati equation, or we can use the Hamiltonian formulation. And here is the Hamiltonian, and actually this first term is the Lagrangian. See, and we can make uh, if we make lambda equals p x, we're going to have again the Riccati equation. So as we have these two options, an interesting example of application. I've uh, uh, tried to find uh, some examples already solved, so I could make the parallel with the ship that I have to solve later is the inverted pendulum. If you notice, uh, we're going to have this uh, cart that uh, is able, is, is submitted to a control force, right? And uh, if it is able to move to, to the right, to the left, uh, in a way that uh, it will stabilize this pendulum with a mass uh, lowercase m in the uh, upright position. Well, this is something that I found already solved in uh, one of my references, and I got all this from the reference, the nonlinear dynamics of the system, and, uh, and then here the control function that we, ha we have to solve. And we will try to design an LQR to stabilize the system. First of all, it's, uh, we need to check if the system is controllable. And basically, we need to check the controllability matrix is this one. N is equals to 4 is equals to N is going to be equals to N from the matrix A, N by N, right? And in this case, if you compute the, comp the, the controllable controllability matrix, you're going to find um, C equals to 4. That means uh, C equals N, the, the system is controllable. We know we are able to design a controller. And the next step is to um find out uh, uh, the the values of the, the, the values of k the matrix k that will um, stabilize that will uh, be applied to the control function 
to make the system stable. We have to define the parameters for Q and R, but this is kind of um, um, a design process that we can uh, um, define initially some parameters and then eventually change until we have the, the, the behavior of the system that we want. The reference sh show the, this graph that is the system being stabilized. It's about here on time equals to five that the system is completely stable using the alt QR uh, controller. That's a um, picture that illustrates the whole system that actually is the dynamic system the RQR controller, but there are some other components for the whole system that we need to, to build to, to run the simulation. Okay, that's what, uh, uh, I found this very interesting because I have a parallel with um, a model of a ship. My objective and this uh, work is to stabilize or to find a control that will be able to stabilize the roll uh, motion of a marine system. The roll motion is going to be this, is the, the, the mo movement from side, one side to other side, the, 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 it's kind of, uh, you can say is the sh the shaking the shaking movement of the ship is one of the most um, uh, they have the, the greatest amplitude and uh, is one that we can we can act on because uh, uh, the modern ships have uh, thin stabilizers like those those they look like uh, uh, wings, right? Uh, but they used to to actuate and uh, reduce the roll movement. That's a very uh, simplistic model of our ship. Uh, we can see a few differences from the um, inverted pendulum that uh, we s we used as an example before. Look, X now is not a movement on the horizontal axis, right? It's like a, a kind of a rotation or a moment. And we're going to have the control function also acting as a moment, uh, op opposing the, the opposing X in this case. Yeah, it's supposed to be like this. We also, another thing that's different about um, the inverted pendulum and the ship is that the ship also have the writing moment. It's, um, it's a moment created by displacement of water when the ship moves from one side to the side that uh, have the, the tendency of straightening up the the boat okay those are the the, the variables that, or the parameters that we're going to use and some variables the writing moment is about explain it here is is this um the 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 shape of the hole will define the the writing arm and will define uh, uh, and then the writing moment. The following is going to be a, a representation of the general row motion equation of a ship. It's based on the in, in mass moment of inertia. And notice this added mass moment of inertia. The added mass moment is the 
is the volume or mass of water that's displaced by the hole in this movement. Uh, the control forces. We have things which are actuators designed to generate hydro hydrodynamic forces creating a moment that's opposite to the row motion. Those things, they, are, uh, they have a manufacturer and they are tested and the manufacturer usually provides a graph or a table with the coefficients that they're going to use to calculate the, the forces or the moments that the fin will um, produce depending on the angle that is uh, commanded to the fin. And that's uh, how we will uh, calculate and find the, the equation uh, about the dumping and restoring forces. Another thing we have to also establish is the wave model. We can have periodical uh, random waves. The most common is the periodical waves. So this is the representation of the wave, the per periodical wave. I'm going to call the um, environmental disturbance forces. Uh, to design the controller, we're going to use the same method as before, uh, but uh, of course um, using and uh, computing the um, the equations that we just uh, found for the ship, right? That's applicable to the, the marine system, and using these equations for the marine dynamic system, we can define. We will be. We are able to define the matrix A, the matrix B and write down the control equation x dot equals a t x plus b t u that uh, will be the used to minimize minimize the cost function uh, that we've seen before. We can use Riccati equation or we can use Hamiltonian formulation. Uh, I, I didn't have time. I wanted, but I didn't have time to run any simulations. I found uh, in, um, in a different reference a simulation of um, the, the, the same um, control system applied to a small patrol vessel and we can see that uh, we will have very large very very uh, large angles of roll in the, in the ship that I'm working in my project is a it's a bigger ship they have a, a greater displacement and have uh, smaller angles of roll and we can see, even though this small boat have very uh, big, very uh, large angle of row, using the fins uh, co uh, with the control of the LQR, we are able to reduce very significantly the angle uh, of row of this patrol vessel. Well, conclusions. We can see it's a, it's a very important application of Hilbert spaces. Uh, of course, um, Hilbert spaces uh, is something that can be uh, 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 have applications on different fields, so mathematics, biology, chemistry, economics, physics, computing, but uh, I've uh, found very interesting all those applications in engineering since I am a marine engineer. The objective of the current work was achieved was to examine, to investigate 
and test an optimal control method applying Hilbert spaces. Um, the conclusion is that it's going to be possible to use this RQR controller to significantly reduce the roll motion of the ship that I've uh, uh, worked on my PhD thesis. The next steps, I listed the few steps that I would like to, to work on if I, when I have uh, a chance. Uh, I, I don't think I'm going to be able to work soon on, on those next steps. But I'd like to de develop a more comprehensive model of the system and uh, run some simulations and uh, try to vary the parameters and check what happens, uh, analyze the results, and propose a final version of the RQR controller. The next steps uh, is just for, uh, for the future.